I'm Nitya Bhalla. I lead uh, data science for Nielsen South Asia. Uh, and I also happen to be the diversity and inclusion Nielsen for uh, inclusion leader for Nielsen South Asia. Uh, so yeah, I have overall 20 years of experience uh, predominantly in the data science and analytics space. So today, uh, you know, the name of the topic is ML360. And what we wanted to share is um, basically what has been our journey in, uh, you know, the entire transformation that Nielsen has done over the past couple of years. And how is it that we have deployed, uh, you know, in the form of used cases um, at various stages, uh, you know, AI and ML. So that's uh, predominantly the, uh, you know, objective of the session. And we'll be obviously sharing our learnings on this journey. And it's a journey, as I mentioned. So yeah, it's going to continue uh, with the amount of, uh, you know, development that tech, uh, you know, it's, it's just an exponential curve. So yeah. So um, in my opinion, like data science and machine learning are now like table stakes across industries. You know, so it's now becoming like uh, ingrained into, okay, this is a journey we have to take across industries. So be it uh, FMCG, be it retail, be it media, um, I think, uh, you know, the, um, the application tools, development, technology, architecture, everything is being thought of uh, with an AI ML lens in mind. Uh, so um, I, I think the uh, delivery forms could be very different. And it's not that it's only going to be the, you know, that it's it's a it's a, it's an era of and. So it's not only the it's not only going to be that there'll only be an AI ML. There'll be a lot of, you know, ancillaries that need to support that uh, journey. So that's where I believe you know those are the big trends, be it um, you know, in the space. And you're going to pretty much ask me to present my last slide, which is my closing thoughts. But on that note, I think one of the uh, uh, biggest, biggest, if I were to say, uh, change is is the uh, mindset. Okay, is the open and collaborative mindset that you need to have because this cannot be deployed without us collaborating with tech, with data science, collaborating with multiple functions to kind of deliver products which are front end. It cannot be done only with what knowledge and skill you have within your company. You need to have that openness to can kind of you know reach out to multiple other companies and take on. Uh, so I think it's a more combination of uh, attitude, a combination of talent. Uh, how do you build versus train, um, and how do you kind of totally transform with tools, technology, and technique? So I think that's what I would call out as uh, you know uh, the adoption process. And um, I guess uh, I think one thing that would help is it's not only companies like us, but even our clients and who are clients of some other, you know, the openness needs to, that, that the change is going to continuously be, be there. Because anything that you do will change what you're doing. So I guess uh, that openness and collaborative and agility is what I would say are the key takeaways. So I think it goes uh, right from the fact, you know, uh, our education, you know. Like you would see a lot more tech guys who are, you know, male versus, you know, other genders. And, um, but having said that, I think I've, I'm starting to see a big change. So, um, you know, um, uh, in our company, like, uh, we aren't seeing so much bias. So as I mentioned, I lead the uh, diversity and inclusion agenda for Nielsen. We have a tech hub in Chennai and we have specific recruitment days, uh, you know, to kind of drive uh, women to come into this uh, fold. Um, I guess uh, it's it's also to do with, uh, you know, making the environment conducive. It's not only a AI ML challenge when you say, uh, you know, diversity is an issue. It's a, a cross industry challenge. Um, luckily for Nielsen, the policies of flexi hours, you know, crash, uh, making women come back post mat leave. Uh, having an equal parental, you know, paternity leave. I think those are all uh, areas which drive this um, culture. So, uh, so that's where I would say I think it's it's not only up to us but also up to the men folk because there's so much of subconscious bias that exists that uh, you know needs to drive. Yeah, yeah, sure. And uh, I think that's one thing that uh, we have instituted into our 
joining culture itself. There's something called as breaking bias, uh, where anybody who joins has to undergo that training. So the breaking bias is something which is institutionalized. Uh, we have uh, a very like five, you know, uh, employee resource groups. So we have a very active ally network, and I think that's something that you know other companies can learn from. Um, and uh, ensure that these stereotyping and typecasting, you know, like women will have to work and then go and make food. You know, these comments don't work nowadays. So I think how we raise our kids at home is also equally important. And I guess uh, education starts at home. So, uh, you know, my kids know how to make uh, tea for their mother. So, yeah. So I think this conference is uh, looking really exciting. Um, uh, this is my first experience here. So yeah, uh, great to meet some of the known faces and uh, great to hear a lot of uh, stuff happening across domains. Uh, gives a very different experience to what is it that I can take back. Uh, so I think uh, great job guys and continue doing it.